Hello everyone and welcome into the last topic of this module. So this is the endpoint protection and endpoint protection is a broad term. So it contains many things. So what is called endpoint protection? Endpoint protection involves monitoring and protecting endpoint against cyber threat. So let me uh, revise it again. Endpoint is uh, any computer, any HMI uh, that contains an operating system and application software running on it or some sort of OT application software. So that is called an endpoint. So we need to protect our endpoints against the cyber threats. So protected endpoints include desktop, laptops, smartphones, tablet computers, and other devices. So various cybersecurity solutions can be installed on and monitor these devices to protect them against cyber threats, regardless of where they are located. So basically, this is the definition and understanding of endpoint. And endpoint protection so what could we install on on the endpoint so and why it is required because whatever solutions we will implement on the endpoint that will be the last line of the defense so it means that all the uh, covers whatever we have installed as a perimeter security as a detection mechanism as a prevention mechanism as a shielding mechanism as a physical access control mechanism when all those things are bypassed by the adversary then they have to bypass or they have to intrude the host also to intrude the endpoint also in position to install a executable on the system or disable the executable on the system or they need to escalate their privilege on the system they need to even this is the last line of the defense whatever we are putting on the endpoint and they need to intrude or bypass that as well so first is the anti-malware this is the oldest we can we have seen like antivirus so that is the anti-malware systems which should detect the prevent and detect and prevent infections by viruses worms and other malwares so this was evolved very early and we used to install all these things in industrial systems. So they are a sort of approved. So we often uh, run semantic antivirus or we run uh, not an antivirus or as well. We run McAfee antivirus or anti-malware systems. Now we have multiple module of that antivirus. It doesn't have only antivirus capability. So they have anti-malware capability. They have anti-worm capability. They have all those signatures of the existing threats, which is which has been released till date today. And they get on updated on very often rate. So whenever we install an antivirus on the system, or we can say anti-malware on the system, we need to keep the signatures updated. Then only we can ensure that my system will remain protected from the available viruses, malwares, and the worms. So that is the first thing what we can install on our endpoints for endpoint protection. Next, we can go for next generation antivirus. So next generation antivirus is to combat new forms of the malware, which has machine learning, and behavioral threat protection it was introduced to create more effective next gen antivirus so we can go with the ngaf it has like some uh, behavioral uh, capabilities also it can understand the behaviors like how processes are acting where if process gets infected by a malware then they will behave in a different way so these or, or the pattern of the signatures if some signatures are very new and it cannot identify on the basis of the behavior of that signature or the malware it can predict that okay this is the one of the type of the viruses or this is replicable uh, or, or this is a, a worm or this is a root kit and they can prevent it from executing and proliferating inside the environment next moving is the endpoint protection platform so then uh, it come an era of epp and epp combines antivirus next gen antivirus personal firewalls uh, encryption usb device control vulnerability assessment and more to deliver a full platform to stop malware from penetrating endpoints so often in, in uh, at today's date we are we are at this stage in most of the applications or most of the industrial uh, uh, workstation you will find some sort of this type of technology or even older than that you will find only antivirus you will find antivirus or anti-malware this type of system 
so current states if you see research if you see outside uh, outside the plants if you ask to your friends like what type of solutions they are using you will find almost this type of solution they will have a usb control for data loss prevention on each of the devices they can control they can disable the usbs they will have one personal firewall enabled so there is a already windows firewall is there sometimes whatever solution we implement they have also some firewall like mcafee has their own firewall so you can enable that firewall also they have uh, encryption capabilities also so like uh, in our personal computers we do like uh, a bit encryption so similar type of encryption is also there then uh, apart from them these two will be there anti malware anti anti virus then also epp will have some application allow listing and application block listing type of functionalities so all these there is a you know, composite suite of the applications which will have a centralized monitoring you can see everything what is happening on all the endpoints on a centralized console you can deploy all the agents you can get, you can deploy all the patches of this application from a single point then moving ahead uh one advancement is the edr so endpoint detection and response solutions so these tools are primarily focus on detecting and investigating suspicious activity on endpoint this name had evolved to endpoint detection and response so this is latest what is coming in the market now if you see some of the companies are also accepting this type of solution only problem with these type of solutions is the installation of agent this solutions will work with not, will not work without installing a agent on the workstation or hmi so or server so if you install a agent it should be tested with the oem otherwise it will interfere with the performance of those application and it can cause loss of availability of those solution so it is always recommended to check with the original equipment providers like honeywell siemens whether where they are supporting this type of solutions on their platform or not if we are installing it on a monitoring platform or monitoring solutions which is uh, which has been provided by none of the oem it is the sole and proprietary of the customer that they can definitely go for that so this solution comes with a response part also and automated response is not always welcomed in ot environment or in ics environment so better to disable the response part or keep it manual so like in some cases if something is getting detected so alert should be raised and manual action can be taken then moving further uh, some companies released an xdr also so xdr is considered as an emerging technology that is quickly gaining traction in the uh, endpoint security market and it is called extended detection and response so we have to see like whether oems or the solutions or the ot ICS uh, market is accepting these things or not. So everything depends on how interference and how resource consuming these all technologies are. So till now today, some of the solutions are, some of the companies are accepting this EDR and we are implementing. But till here, it's all tested and most of the organizations, most of the uh, solutions, they are okay with these things. So the, you will find these three things in most of the solutions, but you will find uh, EDR on the sum of the solutions and XDR it's a very rare because it's a emerging technology so that's all about the endpoint protection and is the end of the module so uh, let's move to the next topic uh, till then thank you